All right, welcome to episode seven of the Worship Online podcast. Today we are talking about humility and how awesome I am at it. <laughs> All right, this is episode seven yes. of the Worship Online podcast podcast i'm honestly probably the most nervous about this episode i am too like we're talking about humbleness but i don't want to come off not humble <laughs> like how do you talk about it without honestly, being like like real talk this whole podcast journey from start to finish from the beginning has been really difficult because it's like the last thing i want to do is come on here and sound like an expert yeah on worship yeah i mean come on yeah there's so much to learn we're all on a journey yeah but especially when we're talking about humility. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, I know. Like, really, we're pinning ourselves in a corner. Let's just let's just put the focus on like other people. Let's talk okay. about, hey, this person is so humble because... Well, let's talk about Mother Teresa for a second. You're right. She's Mother humble. Teresa. She, yes. She's super humble. She's the best. If, if this is your first episode you've listened to, we've been talking about tips for worship team members. And when I initially kind of we came up with this idea, it was going to be for new worship team members. But actually... You know, as we thought about it more, like this is more so for everyone. Like, it really this is. This is really important stuff for people who have been around for years. We were talking about this because um, we've got a couple interviews we're rolling out here. Last week we talked with um, Austin, which was amazing. Mm-hmm. And this next week we're going to be talking with our buddy Max. But we were kind of talking about how a lot of this stuff um, you would think to a seasoned musician or somebody who's maybe been on tours or has a career, mm-hmm. you know, as an artist or oh, especially like worship, uh, you know, playing guitar or whatever, um, that they wouldn't need discipleship or things that they need to yeah. grow in. And that's just not the case. We all need it. We yeah. all have to grow. And so these are all things that, yes, to be in a worship team, these are characteristics or things that you want to look for, you mm-hmm. know, when you're picking musicians and stuff. But at the same time, the, the, the older you get, um, the more you grow, the better you get. Yeah. Um, the easier it is to get lazy. The easier yeah. it is to let things slip a little bit. The easier it is to get a little bit more uh, arrogant in the sense mm-hmm. of maybe leaning on your gift a little too much and not, you know, wheeling it back in yeah. and trying to practice and, and get better and, and stay humble. Yeah. And um, as it relates to... Um, personality and and interaction with people um you know we try to make it easier on ourselves a lot of times yeah. uh, we all know the the divas who like to just show up play and leave yeah um but when it comes to church it's it's more about i think the community um and the people that you're around than necessarily what what you do or uh, yeah. when it's you know just about your gift kind of thing so i agree anyways and i definitely you know to be vulnerable i mean this is something that i struggled oh, with me too man. growing Big up time. as a as a worship leader or guitar player you know i thought i was big stuff you know mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that was big stuff being the lead guitar player and worship leader of my youth band you know what right. i mean that's uh something that we all struggle with but even yeah. like back in episode five i mentioned that preparing was kind of like the secret our secret weapon mm-hmm. to like mm-hmm. as a as worship musicians showing up prepared but if i was going to say that there was like even something maybe even more important than that it'd yeah. be staying humble yeah and once i kind of realized that and and like you mentioned max and austin like i'm a student of those guys totally (laughs) those guys are the most like humble people they really are man yeah i've ever met and like they're on the highest possible level you could be as a worship musician and yet yet they're the most humble people and i think part of they didn't get there and become humble it's because they were humble God yeah. took them that's to exactly where they are, right. and they they're still learning. Yeah, that's the coolest thing is you sit down and talk to them, and um, you know their story is powerful because it speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. It's not this story of well, I did this, and then I did this, and then I went here, and this is what I decided to do to get me to this place. Yeah. No, it was it was all out of just a kind of a vulnerability and an availability, yeah. saying I'm just along for the ride wherever God wants to take me, yeah. and I'm going to learn everything I can along the way and soak up everything I can along the way and love the people that God puts me around along yeah. the way. You know, it's I feel like it's so funny because it's like the older we get, I think the more simple it becomes in yeah. the sense of like in our even in our mindsets it's it's actually a lot more simple than we make it yeah. out to be you know um being okay and just um 
good with 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 where God kind of has you. Yeah. I think it starts there. We we kind of had this saying. I've heard this saying. I guess mm-hmm. we didn't have the saying. That's very arrogant yeah. thing to say. <laughs> I've heard the saying, um, there's like humility is being confident in your, or comfortable in your own skin. Hmm. You know, it's like, um, and you can tell that Austin and Max very much so are, they're, they're confident in their own skin. They're comfortable in their own skin, but, um, false humility would be leaning towards really real pride in the super low self-esteem. Like Mm -hmm. the woe is me. Like I don't have anything to offer. Yeah. And then there's obviously arrogance, which is the, you know, super out like loud yeah. or whatever um, that we all would kind of yeah. say is is pride. But um, I think that's really, really good. Being secure, um, not insecure. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of that, it, it comes from obedience. I heard this really awesome message from our pastor, Alex. She was talking about the, kind of the two things that happens with obedience. If you obey, there's actually an authority that you gain. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's being secure in, in your relationship with God when you're obedient to God. Yeah. And then if you disobey, if you don't do the things, you know, God's maybe put as a standard or asked of you, then the result is insecurity. And I think that, you know, humility is being secure in who God is in you yeah. and comfortable in that, comfortable in your skin. That's just a definition. Yeah. Just kind of pull some things together to put yeah. a little bit of a definition to it. Yeah. It's not from an expert place. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> since so it's hard to say. But. Since we're talking about it, I mean, the verse is God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble, yeah. which is James 4, 6. I wrote yes. it down so I don't ruin it live. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. But that's, it's such that's a good it. Verse. You know what I mean? That, yes. Like how these people get there, not they get there because they're they're humble. Like mm. because they come from this place, and when you when you're humble, people really respond to that. Mm-hmm. Not to say we're getting something out of being humble. Like this is why you're humble, so people respond. To you know, it's when you're humble, people respond to that because you're putting yourself at the same level as them, as opposed to right. like I'm better than you or I'm better than anybody. Like right. you're placing yourself at the same level, even below them, to yeah. like serve them, and there yeah. people yeah. are there and they respond to that really well. Like. Yeah. Um, for instance, if like you're a good guitar player and there's you're two electric guitar players and you're showing up and but you really want to play the lead lines um, because that's the cool part of the song to play. Yeah, yeah. But the other guy also really wants to play the lead lines. But you know, I mean, you may be way better as a musician, but like the idea of just humble yourself. You yeah. know, you're secure. You don't have to do it. Like let that person do it let that person do it humble yourself allow other people to take those roles and god's going to promote you because of that like that's just something that's going to happen you know in in any sort of position on 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 the worship team you know humble yourself good i think that's a really good thing to say is like god does the promoting yeah so just leave that up to him yeah you know like don't try to position yourself we talked about that um my buddy and i have a podcast and we've done some really like cool interviews with older guys that have like been in the industry a long time. Yeah. And I was I was talking to um this amazing guitar player. His name's Jimmy Abeg. I don't know if you've heard of him, but um he because we were talking about like positioning yourself, mm-hmm. you know, like with whatever s- social circles you're in or networking or whatever and he's like, "Don't use that word position." He's like, "Just m- maybe make yourself available." Ooh. You know? Yeah. And I liked that. I liked yeah. that change in verbiage because positioning yourself you it can be used in a good way but it's it's that it's the difference between getting your foot in the door forcing yourself in the door or just yeah. making yourself available yeah you know? and um i think as it relates to community and and conversations and people um you're at, at the end of the day we've said this if we've said it once we've said it a thousand times at this point on even on this podcast even yeah. though we're brand new yeah uh, it's we're here to serve people you know we're here to serve people yeah Especially our family members, our team members, the guys that are around us all the time. That's so good. And um, and so that's you know we talk about serving the congregation, but even with your own team players, I mean some of the best times are two great guitar players yeah. saying, "You want to take the parts? Oh, let me take the parts yeah. on this. You know, whatever." And and just being cool with yeah. One with of my it. like greatest memories as a worship guitar player is playing with uh, this 
musician that like our community looked up to like we played in a, a community uh worship team for like a young adults night for a lot of people and he was like the guy like mm. he was like amazing at the guitar every guitar player wanted to be this guy because he could just yeah. rip it you know and but and i came to play with him and like we both showed up with electric guitars and he was like he would always be like all right what what's that part all right here you play it mm. and i'm like what me play me play yeah. he's like all right here take that take that part and he just yeah. look at me and like and like just give me the reins as yeah. like and i'm just like oh my god it was such an example to mm-hmm. me like how humble he was he's like he didn't need to show off like mm-hmm. he was so secure what he yeah. what he was doing and who he was and and it really it impacted me as a young musician i was mm-hmm. like what like this guy is like telling me like sure. take this and do this and it it as i kind of progressed and started playing more guitar i i was able to kind of take that to mm-hmm. other musicians that i play with and you know it's not a big deal if mm. I get to play whatever sure. parts. It's just, yeah. yeah, take it. Like, take it. Come on, I want you, like, to finally, like, we're he all here to with the same goal in mind, to worship worship yeah. Jesus. And yeah. even I even hear, like, worship teams a lot of times, they the, the singers will, they all want to lead the song. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? They all want to lead the song. And there's just, it, it, it's just a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like, there's something about being humble in that situation. Yeah. You, God's going to promote you. You, yep. you don't have to worry about leading the songs. Like there's, yes. we don't, don't get involved with the, the political side of, yes. Oh, she's leading this and I need to lead this. And I'm more talented. Just go. It takes just you down a serve. bad road. It takes you oh, down yeah. a bad road. Exactly. And it, and it hurts the culture of the team when, really when everyone is like kind of fighting over. Leading well, it's that just song. based in fear and insecurity. You know? Yeah. And there's just no place for that. Yeah. Because God wants to do a lot of really cool things. If yeah. we'll just be humble and allow him to do it, you know? Yep. And I love that. The last part of that scripture, obviously you resist the proud, so you try not to be prideful, but he gives grace to the humble yeah. and grace. Like when there's just, when there's grace on your life and, and just when you're walking with God in the presence of God, there's just a grace mm. on your life. That's attractive to people because they're used to fear. They're used to insecurity yeah. at the workplace or in, yeah. in the home. And, um, they're used to stress. They're used to all these things. And if you're walking in grace and you're there to serve and you're, you know, placing yourself at the, you know, at the uh, underneath other people or just to serve other people, that that really does give you um, a, a grace and an influence. Mm-hmm. You know, like we're talking about leadership being a byproduct of, of servanthood. And that's where it starts, I think. And yeah. that goes for all of us, you yeah. know, because I think there's – you. it's all about perspective, right? You yeah. can listen to this and go – um, well, man, I wish my worship leader would be a lot more of a servant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it starts with you. Yeah. How are you serving your worship leader? Yeah. You know, it's that golden rule, you know, um, exactly. do unto others. Uh, and, yep. and I think that that's, if you want other people to treat you with that, start and act out that way and, and watch it happen. Exactly. So. And you're able to be, you're able to grow as just like in skill really yeah. a lot faster when you're humble, when you humble yourself. Uh, around in different situations because there's so much you can learn from other people that like you know you wouldn't expect to learn something but unless you're actively like humbling yourself and saying you know what I'm this person maybe whatever but there's still something you can learn yeah. from that person you're, yeah. you you approach things as in much more of like a, as a as a student yeah yes and I also wrote down kind of like being humble means like you're doing things out of the kindness of your heart and and not expecting anything in return yeah that's that's, good. A, that's such a huge part of just not expecting being anything humble. in return man that's good i don't know that's and good. just i i think like how do you be humble you know it's like I, a lot of it has to do with just drawing closer mm. to jesus i mean just draw closer to jesus like look yeah. at look at his example like allow him to like speak to your heart and yeah. mend mend your heart like yeah. that's gonna put you in such a place of like peace it's so much more stress free to to not worry about who you're going to do this and who's doing this and like you're better than this person so yeah. you need it's so much more of a relaxing stress free place to just be like oh man I'm just going to humble myself here and just it's whatever yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean easy going. And it's, it's, it's easy going easy you know going. I don't have anything Chill. to prove yeah you know what I mean yeah and, it's really good man and obviously, I, I, I mean, I think I'm speaking from experience because, like, growing up in the worship team, I don't know that I had the the leadership of anyone to sit me down and be like, hey, 
<laughs> you're not you're being a little bit like stepping mm. overstepping you know because yeah. i feel like i struggled with that as as mm. a young kind of musician and it took yeah. me a while to get to the point where i was like you know what I, i'm not better than anyone else like yeah. like because i was that like i was i found my identity as the guitar player or yeah. as the worship leader and if yeah. and if i was like I was like the guitar player. If anyone tried to step on my turf, it was kind of a thing. And I I feel like there's a lot of musicians out there who could maybe listening to this who could relate to that. And, and the way I overcame that kind of thing was one, just drawing closer to Jesus, allow him to, to work on your heart and allow Mm. him to, to just move on you. And Mm. it, learning from people who are humble taking yeah. a look at the people who are where you want to be and like how did they get there i i guarantee it's not by being arrogant no one wants to be around people that are yeah. arrogant it's that humbleness that can really take you yeah there absolutely that's good man yeah. that's really good I, I i don't have any more thoughts on this i think the longer we talk about it we're gonna get feedback from people going well they talk for 30 minutes about I know. being humble <laughs> i know the know-it-alls I know. Of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah to know. exactly but i mean it's it's so true and obviously it's all about perspective and yep. what you take away from it but these are all things these are lessons that we've learned i think along the way and um you know we want to help shed some light on on what it is to be a team player, what yeah. it is to serve other people around you, and yeah. um, it, I think it starts there. It starts checking, checking in the inside, looking in the mirror. Yep. You know. Yep. Michael Jackson said it best. That's right. Make the world a better place. Take a look at yourself. Yep. Even like just practicing humility. Start yeah. that. Just start practicing. Even if maybe you don't know if you're there, just practice it. And whenever someone s- asks you to do something, just start with this mindset like i'm honored to do that you know what i mean yeah just start practicing it'll eventually kind of work its way out and actually become part of who you are we talk about being in the presence of god in the secret place and how important that is yeah but what happens if you become a better musician in the secret place yeah you know it's not just all about the spotlight yeah but it's you're you're truly humbling yourself and serving your team when you take the extra step and Mm -hmm. jump in which is why you should get a worship online subscription. Am I right? Ching! <laughs> Boom! This whole podcast was just to lead up to that. <laughs> lead up to that one thing. We're gonna start ending every episode oh like gosh, that. Yes. Which is why you need a worship online subscription. It's like it's legitimately just a pitch. Uh, yeah, at just the end. a long pitch. That's all. Everything is. Be humble, and you need a subscription. And the only way to be humble. <laughs> It's the only way to be, the only humble, way to be humble is to have our worship to pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So oh my yeah, God. For no, real. it Go is humbling and... watching Austin Davis shred on the drums, though. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it really, it really is. is humbling. Yeah. Yeah, so that will give you that. It, that will humble you very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can uh, go online, get a subscription, sign up for an annual subscription. Just go to worshiponline.com slash podcast. You can click on the link in the show notes. Mm-hmm. And we obviously want to hear back from you. So you leave yeah. reviews and all that stuff, um, comment and stuff. But we'd actually love for you to give us some feedback because you yeah. can email to podcast at worshiponline.com or um, mm-hmm. you know shoot us a message on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Um, you know, But we would love to hear from you on some of this stuff yeah. because obviously this whole purpose is to start a conversation you yeah. know it's not like we're just delivering a bunch of you know content and hoping yeah. that you listen to it this is all to spark a conversation in community yep. and we would love for you to be a part of that so please jump yeah. in yeah when that uh, free year subscription uh, worshiponline.com slash podcast in your email we want to know yeah. that you came from the podcast so yes. that's huge for us it's encouraging yeah. uh, leave your reviews and all that stuff so yeah alright we'll see you guys see you